Desire to Learn lets you set up a custom navbar. Navbar is this row of tools along the top. So you can actually add tools here and it will also let you set up a custom home page. So this is the home page with widgets added to it. And some instructors use these features in their courses. Um, when you copy a course over to a new course shell, uh, all of the nav bars, custom nav bars, and custom home pages get copied over, but the course shell will still keep the same default active nav bar and home page. If you want to use the custom nav bar home page, you have to actually activate it. So to do that, we're going to go to Edit Course and uh, nav bars are under navigation and themes and you'll see the ones in black are the standard default ones you'll also see that there are a couple of uh, custom ones so you'll see there's a number of custom nav bars on this one um, there's a copyright course nav bar let's take a look at that so you'll see there's the list of links along the top um, which basically has uh, the same ones as the regular class, yep. Um, but I can also add one. So, for example, if I want to add, um, say, an accessibility link here, so a link to PCC's accessibility resource page, and I can move this around to. So, let's say I want to put accessibility right before help, and now I can save the nav bar save and close and to make this be the active nav bar I just go to this drop down and select which one I want to be active so copyright course nav bar and now you'll see that there's an accessibility link in the in the top and if I click on that it takes me to the PCC accessibility website PCC seems to be a little slow but now home pages, we'll go back to edit course and we'll go to home pages under GH. There we go. And once again you can have custom home pages. So let's take a look at this fall term home page. And uh, so this is basically the layout of the regular home page with updates at the top and news items at the bottom and then um, on the right hand side manage course calendar role switch so if I wanted to add a widget to the course home page I could click on add widgets and uh, let's find something that's interesting so let's let's include a link to getting started and I'm going to click the add button and so now there's a getting started widget and if I save and close and then set my active home page go back to course home you should see there's a getting started widget on the course home page so once again that's something that you want to check when you get a new course shell does the course shell use a custom navbar custom home page you might even want to create your own at some point